morning folks, Chad here. <laughs> it's another snowy winter wonderland here at the farm. <laughs> Got something I want to talk to you guys about today though. We've been having a little bit of a problem with our barn cats and I'm really not giving up on them. It's really been a hassle and a big job for me to do it, what I'm doing with them amongst all the other stuff that I'm doing on the farm. But I love these cats, guys. and <laughs> I feel like I can't do without them. And I'm gonna explain the whole story. Just give me a minute and I'll get set up. Fuzzy, you want to go back in, bud? Fuzzy, you want to go back in? You don't like the snow? Okay, there you go. There you go, buddy. You want the stick? Okay. Where is it? You lost it. Chunk, Maggie, Dexter, come here. Chunk, come here. <laughs> I got two out of the three. Dexter and Chunk are in the barn. Maggie's stuck there playing with Molly. <laughs> Let's just get these pigs going. Hey, pigs. Billy. Bobby. Hey, pigs. Bobby. What are you guys doing? Here, Bobby! How you doing, Bobby? Dexter, are you finding some mice for me? I know you're doing a good job. Keep looking. Take it easy, guys. Chunk, you want to go back in, buddy? It looks like you want to go back in. <laughs> See that chunk, okay? 
he doesn't even want to deal with the snow today. <laughs> so Maggie and Dexter are in the barn hunting mice for me. Fozzie wouldn't even come out. He came out for half a second and Chunk came out for about 10 minutes. Okay, so let me tell you what's going on with these cats. First of all, we have eight barn cats here at the farm. Four of them free range during the day. And those are the claw crew, the original, the OG claw crew. Then there's Maggie's kids, which there's four of them. And they haven't been outside of the catio yet because I don't trust them. See, since we lost our few barn cats, I now lock up the cats in the catio. And what that means is that the cats are doing their job on the farm during the daytime only, and they have to be trained enough to come back to me when I call so that I can put them back in the catio and protect them for the evening so that we don't have any predator problems with them. Here's the thing. So Maggie's kittens, are two boys and two girls, okay? There's Mango and Tango, and Chewy and Bubbles. Now you have to understand, folks, that these kittens were born to Maggie last spring. And before anybody says anything about me letting my cats have kittens, it was just a mistake, okay? It was a timing mistake. I got Chunk and Dexter neutered probably two to three weeks too late, and they had already impregnated Maggie, hence we got the junior claw crew. Now, of the four kittens, two of them are, are approachable and nice, and I can pick them up and I can pet them and they'll come to me. The other two will not. They're scared of me. And they've somehow developed some kind of a phobia for me because they just run away like really hard. They just run up to the rafters, they hide underneath stuff and I can't get them. So this all started when I was trying to get the cats vaccinated and I got all the cats except for two. And the two cats were Chewy and Bubbles. And I finally got Chewy actually but I just couldn't get Bubbles. I was gonna be late taking them to my vet appointment. This is Bubbles. Bubbles! <laughs> Bubbles! Bubbles! Finally, this is Chewy, named after Chewbacca from Star Wars. Chewy! Chewy! <laughs> so I rescheduled Bubbles' vet appointment and I decided to use a net to grab these cats. Now that's a lot of backstory I know, but there's a whole lot of new subscribers to the channel. <laughs> this is like an epiphany, you know, like YouTube just flipped a switch and all of a sudden I'm getting more viewers. It's an incredible feeling. Thanks so much to all you new subscribers out there if you're watching this video and of course all of our existing subscribers that's been giving us support all this time trying to build this channel. Thank you. So much easier to get around out in the yard there when you cleared the snow. Hey rabbits! So much easier. <laughs> I always like getting in the tractor to clear a lot of the snow, you know, before I do a lot of the filming. Because, you know, it's happened a few times, honestly, that the camera tips over because the dogs knock the tripod and then the camera goes in the snow and it's just not good. <laughs> oh God, YouTubing in the winter? Ah.
Okay, geese are done. Let me get back to the cats. So, Bubbles missed her vaccination appointment and I decided to grab with a net, which was a stressful situation for these two cats. But anyways, I netted Chewy and Bubbles and I put them in a dog kennel in the house with the intention on making them love me. But these cats aren't easily swayed. <laughs> oh boy, they are just a little feral by now. I really don't understand how they got to be so wild and feral, but they did. Even though I've been holding them ever since birth, they hate me. They're wild, they're not approachable. Sir, how you doing, buddy? How are ya? You wanna go in, Dex? Where's Maggie? Where's Maggie? Let's go, bud. Maggie, you want in? Are you cold? Let's go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Yeah. I swear I love it when a plan comes together. Yes. We have this little room in the barn and we're going to be using that to try to train these cats. Just putting a bunch of straw down so they don't feel cold on the cement floor. I'm just using some scrap wood here, covering up these holes. It's nothing fancy. going to be a two-phased approach. Phase one is bringing them in here, letting them get comfortable, doing what I can to make them feel safe around me, maybe give them a little cat treats now and then so that they'll trust me. Phase two will be once I'm comfortable with them being tame enough, I'm going to reintegrate them back into the cat house and the catio with the rest of the colony, you know, like that's their family. Okay, Bubbles? You okay, Bubbles? I'll try it this way so that Bubbles can go straight in. That way she knows that it's a hiding place. Okay, Chewy. Hopefully he can find the little house I made for him. It's got a heated pad in there. I think he'll find it. But right now he's just a little freaked out because he's in a strange place, you know? I feel bad for him. He's crying a little bit and my heart's kind of sinking. But it's got to be done. You okay, Chewy? I gotta go, buddy, okay? Food, water, toys, litter box, heated bed. Can't ask for anything more. They got lots of straw on the concrete floor in here. And if they climb these wooden walls, they can't get out because I filled in all the holes. So it's the best I can do for these cats. But I'm gonna tame them and make them love me if it kills me. I'm not giving up. No, I'm not. I'm not giving up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put in some serious work training these two cats. Gotta get them nice. Gotta get them like Dexter here. Look at him, he loves me. Those two cats don't love me right now and I've stressed them out too much and I don't blame them. So I'm gonna kill them with kindness. I really do appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to introduce yourself, 
to all of our claw crew cats i have a nice video i'll put it up <laughs> down below here and you can watch that and get a good sense of who all our cats are on the claw crew okay thanks for watching <laughs>